This was always my big problematic question. Because what can I answer? Jew, Jewishness is a, is a religion. So who are you? I can say I Jew. Okay. But Libyan? Yes. North African? Always. So after 14 years in Libya, 28 years in Italy, and then six years in Israel, and then now in England. Who am I? Perhaps myself, I don't know. I would say I am English Sephardi. I am, I am English um, because, uh, yes, I've been English. I've been living here um, for 30 years, which is the most time I spent in the country. You see more than Morocco and, um, and, and Spain. Um, and Sephardi because of my uh, culture. Yes, of my culture and my traditions. I'm getting upset a lot of Jews when I, when I define myself an Arab Jew. So the people, the people say, how can you be Arab and Jew? But it's very simple. A Libyan Jew is an African, Libyan, Jews religion. So Libyan, if he is a Libyan, he's part of the Arab world. Arab is not a religion. It's not an, 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 an entity. Therefore, if the Mr. Cohen in London, if we define him, a European, English, man, Jew religion. I have no objection to define myself an African, Libyan, Arab, Jew, I mean Arab, with Jew religion. I don't know, to tell you the truth. I don't know. The constant is Jewish. People in England call me French. The people in France call me English. What I am, I have no idea. It's a mixture of... French, Jewish, Sephardi, Ashkenazi, you know, and the whole lot. It's the whole lot. But how can I deny that I'm an Iraqi? I didn't go there as an immigrant. I've been there for 3,000 years. Well, here, I feel I'm English now. It's a long time, 1956 to now. When I first came here, they called me Egyptian. They said, you're Egyptian. I said, yes, but I'm not wanted there. They don't want me. I'm not Egyptian. I will happen to be born there, but I'm not Egyptian. It's obvious, not, uh, it's not to be misunderstood. It's not that you don't like to be called British. No, it's nothing that at all. It's just because I was born in Aden, I grew up in Aden, I lived in Aden, I like Aden, I like the life in Aden. What's where are you from? I'm from Aden. When you lose your parents, you become bereft, you know, you become an orphan. And on a much more sociological level, a country is, is also, they call it the motherland, so it's also like a parent. And if the politics of that country rejects you, then you are also an orphan. So many times I used to find this parallel, uh, I used to feel this parallel. I used to feel that I was uh, an orphan. I was being orphaned because I don't have a country. I feel Jewish Iranian. That is that is my uh, true feeling I have. I was telling my friends when we arrived, you can really, really, you feel you're being British when you. Uh, dream in English, and it, it really happened to me first time, I said, oh, I was dreaming in English, and this was the sign of adaptation. Well, I have that background, I can't eliminate it, even that the country has changed totally. Absolutely, you know. 
but uh, I'm still what I am. That's what I am. I'm a Sephardi Jewess <laughs> from Egypt. <laughs> I see myself as a bit of an odd ball of some, actually, because I'm not European and I'm not Asian. And uh, I'm certainly Jewish. I suppose Jewish is the defining of who I am, because that's stable. Oh dear, that's a difficult question. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just me. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm a composer. Yeah. Uh, that's, what, that's what identifies me. Uh, you know, and I'm... Yes, I'm, I'm a very much a phenomenon of the 20th century, partly what I am, because of this cross-cultural globalisation and things like that. I am a British by naturalization, so are my, all my children. Of course, we are Iraqis still, uh, but we don't uh, like to consider we are Iraq Iraqis anymore because it's, it's really hard, we had hard time. So we consider ourselves up as British. Mm. I always present myself as an Iraqi Jew, always. They're both as important as each other, you know. I can't be a Jew without being Iraqi and I can't be Iraqi without being a Jew. It goes together. I was born there. You know, it's written in my passport. I can't change it. It's just like I, I can't change anything in me. I can't change my personality. That's me. I can't change my history. I cannot be a different person than being Niran, the daughter of Salim and Miriam. I cannot. So this is part of me. I'm an elderly gentleman that's very satisfied with life.